All right, welcome back. We made it to Friday, and whether you're wanting to make a trip to the movie theater or maybe you're planning what you should go see this winter, we, of course, have you covered. Joshua Ray joins us now. He's a film critic and editor for thetakeup.com. Thanks for being here. Yep. So let's talk the latest release, Heretic. I said heretic earlier. Heretic. The trailer You bonkers. put it in my head. I know. I'm going to say it now. <laughs> We're going to get you, it right. Heretic. Right. Either way, trailer's crazy. What's up? Well, uh, it's a horror film, sort of. Mm -hmm. I would actually compare this more to like little mystery box films, something okay. like old school film called Sleuth. Mm -hmm. um, so what you've got is a situation where there are two Mormon uh, young women who are missionaries, mm -hmm. and they're visiting, and one of the people that they go to try to recruit is played by Hugh Grant. But what they don't know is that this guy's actually a religious scholar mm -hmm. and a psychopath. Oh, so right. he's a villain here. He is the villain here. Yeah, how does he do as the villain? <laughs> he's great. Yeah. He's pretty incredible because uh, not only does he have this insidious charm, so you and I would walk into this house in a second because it's like, all right. He's so nice. Yeah, he's what a so great, great. guy. Um, but that charm twists so good, and he's able to really nail this uh, Evil, really funny. Uh, surprisingly, how uh, surprising how funny he actually is yeah. in this film, and how the film is together. I like this movie enough uh, because it is pretty creative. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of talk, a lot of kind of dorm room talk about religion. Mm -hmm. uh, that ultimately, I don't know that 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 this movie has that on its mind, really. Okay, well, yeah. something good to know for people wondering how that looks in this movie. We've also got some winter previews. We're yes. looking at things coming out in the next few months. Nickel Boys, based on the book. You said you've seen this. It was one of the best of the year. That's a lot coming from you, right? Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Yes. You are the film uh, critic, yeah, not I'm me. I'm the film critic. So I say, you've got to see this film. Mm -hmm. It's an adaptation of the Colson Whitehead novel. And it is really radical in the way that uh, the filmmaker, Ramel Ross, has only made one feature before. It was an Oscar-nominated documentary. He is transposing some of those techniques in this fiction film. Mm -hmm. And at first, you're going to be a little lost in it, in the kind of technique, and you can see some of it in the yeah, trailer here. Yeah, it looks here. nostalgic. Uh, you know what, that's a perfect way of putting it. It's nostalgic, but it's also very empathetic, and it's one of the toughest movies I've ever seen, but also uh, one of the most beautiful. It's mm -hmm. really a marvel and one of the best American films of the decade, for sure. Yeah, you can sort of hear the music in the background, too. It might have a good soundtrack, too, that sort of pairs along nicely with that nostalgia. Uh, yeah, it's going to make you cry. It's going to make yeah. you feel things, but uh, it's, it's a great movie. Okay, and then really quick, we want to hit The Room Next Door. Why are you excited about The Room Next Door? Uh, well, this is my guy. This is Pedro Moldvar. He's the Spanish filmmaker who really rose to prominence in the late 80s, women on the verge of a nervous breakdown, had this great renaissance in the late 90s mm -hmm. with his melodramas. He's the most popular import filmmaker in the country. And The Room Next Door stars Tilda Swinton and Julianne Moore as two friends who meet up after a long time apart. And I'm already crying, I'm mm -hmm. upset. Um, and this is his first English language feature. It's got a lot of uh, great reviews coming out of festivals. So this is the one I have to see right now. Okay, good to know. Really fast, the St. Louis International Film Festival coming up. When is that? Yeah, that actually started last night. And both okay. of these films, uh, Nickel Boys is their centerpiece film. Room Next Door is playing next Thursday. So you can get tickets, cinemastlouis.org. Awesome. Okay, you can always find Josh's reviews, his podcast, and more at thetakeup.com. And follow him on social media at thetakeupstl. Josh, thanks so much. I'm Missouri native.